what is up boys and girls welcome to tv tutorials my name is doc and i am back yes i am back with another video for you guys on today's video i want to talk to you guys about what we call the promotion route in a company right but before we get into that before we get into that you know you know you know you know we first have to get rid of the nice stuff first if you're watching this video and you still haven't subscribed come on now come on now i'm gonna keep saying this over and over until each and every one of you are subscribed we see you all our ghost watchers there watching our videos and you don't click on that subscribe button make sure you click on that subscribe button click on that bell icon so that you get instant notifications for every time we drop new content links to our socials will be linked in the description box make sure you head on over and give us a follow that is the place where you guys can communicate with us if you want to see a specific video make sure you let us know and we will make it happen right now that we have that out of the way onto the video now the promotion route is basically the path that employees take to advance within a company, right? It is a structured series of steps or levels that require greater skill, experience, and responsibility. Now, the promotional route provides a clear path for career progression, which can motivate employees and help retain talented employees. Now, following the promotion route benefits both the employees and companies by, provi by providing career advancement opportunities and ensuring a skilled workforce right now what i want to show you guys is uh the promotion route um diagram uh, and what it looks like including the content that it includes now the promotion route um diagram is basically a tri a triangle that has um four levels right let's look at the first level level one which are your entry level positions these are your basic jobs with little or no experience required. Now, some examples include your data entry clerks, your receptionists, and your file clerks, right? Going over to level number two, which are your secretarial and administrative positions. These are the jobs that require more experience and may involve some level of supervisory um, responsibility, right? Now, examples may include your secretaries, your administrative assistants, and your office managers. Right now, the next le the next level, which is level three, we have your senior secretarial and supervisory positions. Now, these positions are, are positions with more significant responsibility and leadership roles. Now, some examples may include your senior secretaries, your executive assistants, and your department supervisors. Right, and then you have the last level, which is your level four, and this one is basically the executive level positions. These are the high-ranking positions in a company with significant responsibility for strategic decision-making and leadership. Some examples may include your chief executive officer, your chief financial officer, your chief operating officer, so on and so forth, right? That is that buffet for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you find this video to be informative. Make sure you, you are on the lookout for more of our videos because we're going to be dropping more content for you guys soon. I'm going to say this again. I'm going to say this again. If you're watching this video and you still haven't subscribed, come on. By now, you should have clicked on that subscribe button. You should have clicked on that bell icon so that you get instant notifications for every time we drop new content. All the links to our socials will be in the description box. Make sure you check that out and give us a follow because that is where you guys can communicate with us. If you want to see a specific video, let that happen and we will make it happen. As I always say for myself and my team at TV Tutorials, adios.